Auto Glass replaced. I'm Gavin from Auto Glass. You think that chip's too small to bother about? Well, come with me and see what happens. Hello, name nerds. My name is Patrick, and welcome to Fun with First Names, where each week we look into the meaning origin and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we're looking at the first name of Gavin. But before we begin, I want to say a huge thank you to one Aruni for becoming a patron in the most recent week. But I also want to say a huge thank you to my most recent super thanks. So that's a huge thank you to one Cleve Evans and one Joel Atbury. Thank you all so much for either becoming a patron or for leaving a super thanks. They are the two best ways to help support Name Explained. So through Patreon, you can donate a monthly allowance to the channel to help support it. $1 a month, $2 a month, $5 a month, however much you feel comfortable doing. And in return, you get loads of extra goodies. You get these videos completely ad-free, you get exclusive content, and you get a chance to say what names are explained here on the channel. If you don't want to commit to a monthly donation, however, feel free to leave a super comment right here on YouTube. Just pay a one-off payment of $5 or $2. That comes directly to the channel and it helps amazingly. So if you do want to help support the channel, don't want to commit to a regular donation like it does on Patreon, consider leaving a super thanks. That'd be super helpful. I guess that's why they call it a super thanks. Huh, look at me explaining names. I should, I should do a YouTube channel about that. But anyway, on with today's name of Gavin. And if you enjoy birds, like I, I, I love birds. I'm a big twitcher, not a twitch streamer, but I'm big into birds myself personally. So if you're like me and you really enjoy birds, then Gavin might be the name for you. If you want to name your kid after your love of birds, consider Gavin. Why am I saying that, I hear you asking? Well, it's all to do with the meaning of the name Gavin. Now, Gavin's an odd name. It comes from quite, it's quite an unassuming name in my eyes. It's kind of like a Dave or a Gary. It's just Gavin. It's just one of those names that kind of just exists. At least that's the image it has a little bit in the UK anyway. But the thing about the name Gavin is it actually comes from some pretty epic origins. The name Gavin is actually the modern English adaptation of the much older English name of Gawain or Gawain. I saw it pronounced both ways. And this name is most linked with one Sir Gawain. He was one of the legendary Knights of the Round Table along with King Arthur. All I know about the Knights of the Round Table I learned from the Holy Grail. Uh, I don't think Gawain is in that. He might be so not featured in the film, so... That's who he is, I suppose. That's all I know about that stuff, I'm afraid. I should I should do more King Arthur stuff, because it's quite fun. So what does this name of Gawain mean then? Well, it's believed to mean, wait for it, White Hawk. What a cool name meaning is that, White Hawk. I mean, hawks are pretty badass anyway. So to have a white one, I think white hawks are a breed under themselves. That's, that's pretty cool. So while that is the meaning of the name Gawain, as Gavin is simply seen as the modern adaptation of that older name, Gavin has the same meaning of white bird too. White bird, white hawk, white flappy thing, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. It's late, I'm tired. So if you're really into birds, Gavin might just be the name for you. There is also the name Robin, which is probably a bit more obviously bird themed. And funnily enough, Robin is actually vote up for vote today for this video. This video could be about my name Robin instead, but I'm probably gonna save that for the Christmas special. Spoiler for the future, I suppose. Though I must admit, I'm not entirely convinced by this white hawk etymology. While lots of sources and sites say this is what Gavin means, it doesn't, none, none of them explain why or how it came to mean white hawk. It's like, yes, yeah, what the name means. I'm like, well, where? What part means white? What part means hawk? Someone give me more info. And a part of me feels like it kind of got said once and it just got picked up popularity because it's a cool meaning. Like I said, white hawk is a really cool meaning, but if there's any validity to it, I don't know. Another idea for this name's meaning is godsend, and this makes an awful lot of sense. Like there are so many god-based names we have here in the UK in the English language, I'd say, which we talked about on Fun with First Names. This could just be another one, godsend, Gavin. I could see that more being realistic, but it's definitely not as cool a meaning as White Hawk now, is it? I was quite surprised to see that Gavin is the 173rd most popular boy's name in the USA. That's way higher than I thought it was going to be. Here in the UK, I don't think it's even in the top 1,000. Like I said, here Gavin kind of has that sort of generic image to it. It just doesn't seem to be particularly in vogue. Apologies to any UK-based Gavins watching this video right now. But yeah, Gavin's living his best life in the USA at the moment. Good for you, Gav. Good for you. 
For some reason, when it came to famous Gavins, only one came to mind for me, and this is a very UK-centric niche famous Gavin, that being Gavin from Autoglass. If you remember Gavin from Autoglass, you're, you're probably kind of part of the similar generation as me. Yeah, so what I'm gonna say, look into Gavin from Autoglass for yourself if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Of course, I have to also mention Gavin from Gavin and Stacey. Can't remember his last name. Really good TV show that. It's a show about James Corden, but that can be said about many things. But anyway, that's more than enough about the name Gavin, but what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Gavin? Are you called Gavin yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, I just want to share some of the thoughts that you guys had on last week's name of Linda. Ichabod Debagi said, my mother is named Linda, and I grew up in a place where Spanish is spoken by a lot of the people, and I know that the name Linda means pretty in Spanish. There is some overlap with the German name of similar spelling, but the vast majority of people who named their daughter Linda were more likely going with the word for pretty rather than the German word for tree. That makes an awful lot of sense, like, we like names with nice meanings, and pretty is a much prettier meaning than tree. The trees are pretty cool as well, trees can be pretty pretty as well I suppose. We should maybe celebrate the tree meaning of Linda a bit more often because trees are valid, trees are cool, you can quote me that. Like if they make a film about trees, one of the quotes in the front could be, trees are cool, name explained, 2022. That's my word of endorsement for trees, I suppose. Half I said, Dieselindi and Sigalindi are female names. They're very old school, but they exist. So that's fascinating to hear. Quite fascinating for a couple of reasons. So Dieselind and Sigalind, those were those sort of names I said the male name of Linde came from what made Linda. To hear they're female is fascinating because they end like the masculine form, so I thought it would have been male. Um, to hear their hair still exist is fascinating as well. Like they sound archaic, so it's good to know there are still some people out there with these names, rock on. And Brian Edwards said, I'm 57, when I was a kid, Lindsay was a commonish name for old men here in Oz. Yeah, Lindsay is one of those names that kind of was originally masculine and now has become much more feminine. When I think of a male Lindsay, the far show comes to mind. Lindsay, who eats things. Maybe I'm getting this confused. I'm gonna check this. Amber, just bear with me. Okay, we're back from my slight tangent. There was a Lindsay in the far show. It was one of Paul Whitehouse's characters, I believe, with a go off-roading. Who I'm thinking about is Jesse, Diet with Jesse. That's when the guy comes and goes, this week I've mostly been eating whatever. He had a different name that was is more associated with uh, females today than in Jesse. Got things confused. Amber, you're gonna salvage this in the edit, right? Like, you're gonna make this a usable piece of footage. Of course you are. Go suggest some names down in the comments below and I'll pick three of those to be put into a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on. And then the name that wins in that poll will be the name covered in the next Fun With First Names video. So if you enjoy the channel, want to help support it, and have a say in what names get explained, please do consider becoming a patron. As I've said guys, patreon.com forward slash name explain. There'll be a link down below. If you want ad free videos, if you want exclusive content, if you want a chance to say what names I've explained, Patreon's the place to go. All of that for one dollar a month. I don't think that's too bad, but if you really don't want to commit to a monthly donation, please consider leaving a super comment directly here on YouTube. It's all linked down below. It's super simple to do. That would be amazing as well, because it shows your support and love for the channel, but you don't need to commit to a monthly subscription because who needs more monthly subscriptions in their life right now? You've already got every streaming service under the sun. The last thing you need to do is commit to another one, which is exclusively for my content. Or maybe you do need that. I don't know what you want. Just do what makes you happy. But anyway, that's more than enough for myself. Don't forget to go follow on Instagram where I'm Name Explained YT, and don't forget to go join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explained, bring a chat with myself and many other name nerds. Okay, guys, take care. My hair doesn't look silly or more silly than normal. Okay, let's begin. Why am I saying that you hear? What? Blah, blah, blah. Am I gonna sneeze? I thought I was gonna sneeze. Gawain as a blah, blah. Just, 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 just carry on. We're recording, yeah. And now I've got to turn off my camera. 
Oh, you've lost connection. Of course you've lost connection. But anyway, that's more than enough of myself. What do I say here? <laughs> Mine went blank. We're done. Cool.